Let's work this ACT math question from December 2020. It's number 34. It says, what rational number is exactly halfway between 2 eighths and 6 fourteenths on the real number line? And so I'm going to take these two fractional numbers, 2 eighths, I'm going to add it to 6 14 and divide by 2. That's what I'm looking for. And there's multiple ways that you can add with different denominators. You can use your calculator or you can get a common denominator. And I'm going to work this the old school way and get a common denominator of 56. 8 goes into 56, 7, and 7 times 2 is 14. And 14 goes into 56, 4, and 4 times 6 is 24. And we're still dividing all this by 2. So I get 14 plus 24 gives me 38 over 56. And when I divide by 2, that's the same as multiplying by 1 half and doing some simplifying. And I get 19 over 56. And that is answer choice E. So let's review a few things, information from our question that we had to use to be able to solve this equation. First of all, we're asked to find the rational number. And what does that tell us? When we're looking for a rational number, you can think fraction. It's a number that can be expressed in fractional form. And don't let that confuse you. Whole numbers, 2 is a, a rational number because it can be expressed as 2 over 1. It still can be expressed as a fraction. But that's also meaning that's why 19 over 56, that is a rational number expressed as a fraction. And a hint from that on your rational numbers, if you look at all your answer choices, they are all rational numbers in fractions. So we knew we were looking for a fraction. So when we're looking for half of something or midpoint or that sort of thing, we take numbers, the two numbers in this case, the fractions, we add them up and divide by two. We're almost looking for an average between two numbers, halfway point. So also in this case, we need to make sure since we're dealing with fractions, we need to make sure that we can work with fractions in this case, adding them and then dividing. I used, I worked this out by hand. But if you're comfortable using it on your calculator, putting the numbers in fractional mode, that's the way I would go. Make sure you get some practice working these different kind of questions. And for more practice, you can look up the topics of fractions and rational numbers. This is your math question of the day. We have lots more videos to help you prepare for the math section of the ACT. Subscribe so you'll get our next practice. Until then, practice a bit more on your own, and when you take the test, you'll be glad that you did.